All right, everybody, welcome back to Option Talks. This is Monday Talks, and we're going to have a Monday trade on the XBX. And it's 1.09 p.m. Uh, I'm sorry for waking up late or clocking in late today. Um, I went to my parents' house for Easter Sunday, then I came back, tried to get back here in time to upload some videos and get ready for um, today's trade. And so, um, but I'm glad to be back, and I hope everybody had a great, great Easter weekend. Um, just chilling with family, eating good, good vibes and whatnot. All right. But we back and we're trying to make some money today. And I just posted or uploaded a video about um, Sunday talk or well, Sunday preparation for today's trade. Uh, definitely look at this. Look at that video before you look at this video, because this video is just basically just going over all the scenarios that we went through the other vi the, the video before. And right now we're just trying to put them in place, see what trade we want to take. All right. So. Like I always say, as you can see, we are screen sharing while well, I'm screen sharing with y'all on tradingview.com on the XPX. All right. So let's go back to the weekly chart like we always do. On one second. All right. So basically, like, like I said in other videos, as you can see, price is literally hit our selling territory like i said and as you can see it got down for the today and remember this is a weekly chart so beginning of the week we got down now we see that red candle so that means we see a lot of selling pressure coming in from that selling territory like we said in, in last week in the other videos so as you can see everything we saying we um everything we are predicting or anticipating is actually happening so we definitely are the price or the chart is really working in our favor right now all right, so we are definitely in a, a red candle right now, and we are in selling territory. We've seen some pressure. All right, so as you can see from last week's um, sell put trade we did, you see this blue box right here? It's still right here and still in place. So price is coming down from the selling pressure. It's coming back down here where our buying territory is. All right, so like I said, in the first in the very first video I did with dealing with trading, I said we are definitely in a temporary rally, and and when we get back up here to the selling territory, selling territory, we will see uh, price go back down to a bear market, or um, because right now we are in the bear market, we, we are not in a bull market anymore. So this temporary rally was just market manipulation, just drawing people in to buy novice money, dumb money. All right, so. And the key to this, the way, way we trade, um, that dumb money is good for us because we want to take their money and we, and that's how it is. And that's, like I said, that's the definition of trading. All right. But, um, the transaction between a novice trader and to a professional trader. I'm a professional, a, a novice is a novice, and we, we got to learn somehow. All right. So, so right now we are definitely looking for a sell call or bear call in this trade right now. All right. So let's go to a 30 minute. All right, auto. So in the video I did with the Sunday preparation, so the first scenario, I said, if price gaps up and break this right here, or this um, higher pivot, and price gaps up and break that, we were going to be looking for a sell put somewhere right here. All right. All right. So then the second scenario was if price comes back down and break this right here, we are looking for a bear, a sell call somewhere up here or up here or in the same place where we had it before. All right. Now, if price doesn't break this or this, we're looking for an iron condor. Basically looking for an iron condor in our selling territory up here somewhere and our buying territory somewhere down here. All right. So that that is our three scenarios. So, and we're looking at price now. Price definitely gap down um, for Monday. As you can see, this is the Monday, the first Monday of um, a candle of today, and it gap down. So price is gapping down right now as we speak. And so right now we can definitely say we can do we can look for a bear call definitely in this selling territory up here because the price potentially price is trying to break this low all right so and that's what we want so 
either way, I won't price a break that, but if it gets close to it, I'm still going to try to get in a bear call up here somewhere. All right. So, and, and right now, that's how price is looking right now at 1.14 p.m. All right. So I would definitely look for a bear call right now. I wouldn't necessarily look for a iron condor just simply because if price breaks this low right here, there's no way, or there's no really no good buyers down here to bring price back up. Price literally has to come back down here to find buyer, um, buyers. And this is the, um, the buying territory we did on last week. So like I said, price, price has no memory. All right. So, and uh, price can come to different um, support and resistance, uh, pivots, whatever, as many times they, as they want. Price doesn't have history. Price can literally be, or support and resistance trade, or a level can be eight years old and price can still go back to it. So it don't matter. And that's why I always say, always keep your drawings on your chart so you can go back and look at, oh yeah, I remember that from two weeks ago, price is coming back to it. So always, always, always keep your drawings on your chart so you can just understand what and be aware of what's going on and what you did previously and how is it going to affect now, all right? So, all right, so right now I'm definitely looking for uh, a sell call. I just look on the 15 minute just to see how we look now. Yeah, I will definitely like to have a sell call somewhere up here in a 2800 range. 2800 to 2840 or 2850. That's why I like to have my call at. Because if price breaks this right here, that is for, uh, for sure a uh, bear sell call. All right. But I definitely would like price to break this as well. All right. So we'll see. Um, and and definitely I will look to see what type of um, strike price and what, what's the price they're giving me. And, you know, and now I'll update y'all and how it goes. All right. But definitely I'm looking for a sell call just because based on the weekly, we are showing some selling pressure from the selling territory. I told you about that we are hitting. And now we are definitely taking a little dip right now. And if, and as you can see on the headlines for the XBX, um, it's really not a lot. It's just going about the coronavirus with the drug on the patients. Uh, I know the Dow took a dip this morning and it's still going down. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty much it that I know. Um, the Dow and a lot of stocks are doing well, but the Dow did take a little drop. I think 400 point drop this morning, I think. So and just keep it, just, and I get that on my phone through um, CNN and CNBC. So yeah, and just keep update with the news and see how it affects you, all right? So I would definitely update y'all on that and see what happens. And I definitely will try to see if I can get in the strike price somewhere in here, all right? So, all right, so I def, welcome back. Um, so I definitely logged into my Tastyworks here, if you can see it. Um, so uh, I was looking at it, like we said, we was looking for a bear call somewhere up here in our selling territory. Um, so, if we go to Tastyworks, which is our broker that we use, all right? So, uh, we use, I'll make sure everything is good. All right, so Tastyworks. So right now, I log into my Tastyworks, you go to the XBX, and you go to trade and you always make sure you go to the table right here. And then this will, and once you click table, it will come up as this. This is your table. Like I said, this is your daily expirations. All right. So uh, we will click the April 13th um, expiration because that's today. And we're doing a short call, basically a sell call vertical. And we click go. All right. All right. So we click the sell call vertical again and click go. And as you can see, it automatically goes to 2740 and 2745. 
So that's basically what current price is right now. If we go to the chart, and that's the closest strike price where current price is, which current price is at 27.37 right now at 1.32 p.m. All right. So like we said, I would love for price to break this in this, uh, but if not, I would like to take a bear call somewhere up here above the 2800 number. All right, so I'm gonna format this line. I'm gonna put it at 2800. All right, so anywhere above here, that's where I like my strike price to be. All right, so if we go back to Tastyworks and we drag our lines or our legs down to where we want it, which is 2800. So right now at 2800, we can get 10 cents for this for forever how many um, um, contracts you want. It can be 100, it can be 50, it can be one, it can be two, whatever. If you're doing one contract, it'll be $10 for profit. If you was doing 20, it'll be $200 of profit. If you was doing 200 contracts, it'll be $2,000 of profit. So it's wherever you want to choose or wherever your account size it fits it and remember risk one to two percent of your initial account all right risk management always play a factor in trading all right so right now as you can see we, we 2800 can give us 10 cents still we go back down a little bit more uh 28 five give us five cents and as you can see price is definitely is trying to rally up right now so we can definitely get in at 2800 or 2805 definitely can because price is definitely is trying to is bouncing off of this buying territory right now so you can definitely place a trade at 2800 if anything all right but however i would love for price to break this i would love for price to break that break this little low pivot definitely all right that's the whole goal of it You're just being disciplined just waiting for price to do or you tell them what price needs to do for you to get in the trade, all right? And price is just rounding up right now. So we can definitely bring it up to 2,800, get 10 cents, type in the number of contracts you want to put in. It can be 20. Let's say we're going to do 20 today, and we're making $200, all right? Click review and send. Boom. All right, let's clear edit the video. Then boom, and, and then it will pop up right here in your activity bar. Everything it'll be under working, and then once it fills, it'll go to the fill tab right here, and then you'll see the money work. All right, and then you got till four o'clock for your money to come in. Okay, so let's go back to the trade. See, the price is, is fluctuating. It's going up to fifteen cents because price is going up right now. So as price goes up, your your price is going to increase. As price goes down, it's getting away from your start price, price is going to decrease, all right? So you definitely want your money, uh, you definitely want price to go up a little bit or get closer to your start price so you can get in the trade, and then you just want to go back down and go away from you so you can make your money, all right? It's basically retracement. Basically, basically you're a retracement trader at that point. All right, you get filled, okay? So let's see what happens once everything um, plays out. We've placed this trade. I'm gonna place this trade right here at 2,800. And let's see if we can get filled, all right? All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, so update on the trade I'm looking at. So I decided to look into an iron condor. So if you go to the strategy, you go to the drop down menu, you click short on Condor Go. I'm looking at strike prices at 2680. Um, 2680. All right. Um, make sure I'm right. 2680 for my put. And then 28.30 for my call, all right? 
28.30 for my call. I really see, you know, 28.30 for my call. So let's update the chart and see where we at. So let's put our call at 28.30. Let's put my put right here. And it's crazy because that's where my friend made his money at 26.80 on last week. So we're going to use that as our put today. So a perfect example, old trades can work again later. All right, 26.80. So as we're looking at it, we got a, we got a, um, our call up here. I'm gonna put down here, all right? And as you can see, price, they give us 15 cents for that. So however, how many contracts you put on it, if it's 20, 10, if you do 10, that's 150. Um, if you do a, one contract, that's $15, two, that's $30, all right? So let's see how it works. And remember, this is the trade we're looking for, all right? So we just basically saying that, Price is going to stay above this, and price is going is going to stay below these two, this high right here. All right. And just for me, uh, I like to do the Iconda right now, just because price is is definitely battling between these two um, territories: the selling territory and in the buying territory. And price is literally at this buying territory right now. All right. So it can go any way right now. All right. I know a lot of people are doing a call at twenty eight hundred. Um, that means in current prices at 27.44, 27.45, that does not fit my rules. Price has to be at least 75 points away um, from current price. All right. So anything can happen between 50 points in price can rally. And it's 1.48 p.m. It's almost 2 o'clock. So we got two hours or so to make some money. All right. So, yeah. And that's the way I'm looking at it right now. And I'm going to place that trade. All right, because uh, that's a good trade to look at. All right. Great trade to look at, actually. Let's see. All right. So, and that's a good, that's a good range where we at right now on price. Um, definitely a good range to see what price goes to. All right. I love that. This is a great trade. You just, it wraps around all the movement going up and down. And we literally got to start prices where we want it to be in our selling territory and it's below our buying territory. All right. That's the way you want to trade. Um, and it's beautiful. That, this is a beautiful setup for our condor in a way. All right. Because as you can see right now, it's just going consolidation right now, going sideways. So we'll see. See what price does. And like we said, it's almost two o'clock. So we got two hours, two hours to make some money. All right. And the XBX on Monday, on um, day after Easter. All right. So definitely see what happens. All right, everybody. It is 3 05 p.m. Uh, last time we talked, it was around two o'clock. So just a little updates on what I did with our trade. Um, so at 28. 30 was our put and 20, 26.80 was our, um, no, 28.30 was our call and 26.80 is our put. I had to move our put or our call down from 28.30 to 28.20. Um, but first, because it wasn't getting filled and time was decaying, so I had to move it down to 28.20. And it's still not filling me in right now, so I had to move it down on my call. I had to move my call back down to... 28.15 to even get close to uh, 10 cents for my iron condor. So this is the updated trade right now. Um, it is 3 or 5 p.m. Like I said, um, we're just waiting to get filled for 10 cents. And right now it's, a, it's around 8 cents for credit. Um, so, you know, we, all, we got less than an hour to make some money. Uh, I have a friend, uh, his name is Braxton. Actually, he's my line brother. He is actually in a, a sale call at 29, 27.95. I'm gonna make his trade black so we can just show the difference. So his is at 27.95. All right. And this and he is in this trade right now for 15 cents. 
and I don't know how many contracts, but uh, it's a three-figure profit, three-digit profit. So, and right now his trade is working, and right now for us, we're just trying to get filled. All right, so we'll see how it plays out, everything like that. But other than that, news-wise, nothing really going on. Uh, we got less than forty-five minutes left in the in the trading uh, day, and we'll see if we make some money. All right, so. Like I said, if you want to take a picture of the updated trade, you can. If you want to put in the text words, do it at your own risk uh, How, for whatever, how many contracts you do. All right. All right. The time is 3.26 p.m. All right, just a little update. Um, so on my Iron Condor at 28.15, 26.80, didn't get filled. So, and it's getting closer to the end of the day. So I decided just to, um, take my I did a sell call at 27.95 for five cents so uh, I'm gonna move update this one this call right here at 27.95 right here and that's the same site price my my friend Braxton is doing for a bear call so and right now I'm getting filled right now and I'm doing I got fill for only four contracts at the moment. So let's see if we get full fill all the way through. Now I'll update you and then I'll show you my clean at the end of the day. We got less than 30 minutes, almost less than 30 minutes left in the trading day. See let's so let's just see what happened. And let's pray that everything goes well. All right. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Hey, it is 4:03 p.m. As you can see, we made some good money today. All right, so price, literally we had a sell call. Um, so last, before I said I was trying to do a sell call at 27.95 with my friend Braxton, he got in at 10 cents, I got in at five cents. Uh, like I said, he made money, I made money. Um, my profit was a four, four figure profit, his was a three figure profit. Um, and as you can see, from the last time you saw it around 3.26 p.m., um, price was like down here. Now you see how price rallied up. It was trying to get up here, but it never could get up get up to this pivot up here. I'm gonna highlight the pivot where our start price was at. Can never get up here. So we made money at the start price at 27.95 for a sale call. Um, so it, as you can see, that's how, that's how it works. So if before, early in the day, we was trying to do an iron condor, at 28.30, and then we went down to 28.20, then we went down to 28.15, and our put was still at 26.80. That's That would have worked still anyway. So, and you could have did a sell put too, around 2,700, between 2,700 and 26.80, and it would have worked too. So all three scenarios that we planned from yesterday would have worked. And all our start prices that we planned from those scenarios today worked. So high probability, high reward um, today, you will see this video being posted on Instagram today and on my YouTube channel. Um, definitely, like I said, go back and look at Sunday preparation and then look at this video to see how it all relates and how we came out to a great amount of reward today. And um, as you and like I said, I made money. My friend Braxton made money, and you will see the PNL being posted on Instagram as well. Um, and that's how it rolls. So. Uh, we had a great Monday trade. Um, this is Option Talks. And definitely, if you have any more comments or any questions, comment below. And definitely subscribe to Option Talks on YouTube. All right. A hey, great day. High probability, high reward. Option Talks.